Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of absolute value. This is standard 6.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, seems like a pretty straightforward problem here. We just need to find the value of this expression. So I'm going to open up my graph draw feature. And here is the million dollar question. What does it mean when we've got those straight lines? I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. Those straight lines on either side of that 7. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we are going to just kind of use let's let's just use this connect line feature to draw a sample number line here and let's just put some a few lines there all right so what we're going to do is we're going to see how that works so let's just say that's my zero okay so if i wanted to make my number line right i've got my negatives over here i've got my positives over here so let's just map where each of these are going to go, right? So my negative 7, get back to my green, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so my negative 7 is going to go right here. Because I had a 7 to the left of my 0. If I want to do my positive 7, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's going to go right there. Obviously, uh, these numbers continue to move uh, in infinity in both directions. So I'll just kind of put some little arrow markers right there. And then if I really, really wanted to put these fractions right here, look at these fractions right there. Well, 1 7th is going to be right there, and maybe negative 1 7th is going to go right there. That's, those are going to be kind of hard to place. That's where each of these are going to go. So let me just put a little negative 1 7th and then a positive 1 7th right there. So what does this mean right here? These lines. Well, these are the absolute value symbols right here. So when you see these two vertical lines, they kind of look like parallel lines, but they're not... When you see those two vertical lines on either side of a number, then it's asking for the absolute value. So what that means is how far away is it from zero? That's all it's asking. How far away is that value from zero? Whatever's on the inside. Okay. So if I'm looking right here at my negative 7, so we'll start with that negative 7. So that negative 7, I'm looking for the absolute value of that, right? How far away from 0 is that? Well, let's do some counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the absolute value of negative 7 is 7 because it, negative 7 is 7 away from 0. Well, what happens if I do that absolute value of 7, right? Which is what we're looking at right here. Well, start at 7. And let's go to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So both the absolute value of negative 7 and the absolute value of positive 7 are both the same thing, just 7, because it's only measuring how far away it is from 0. Same with if you get these fractions. So negative 1 7th, how far away is that going to be from 0? Well, that's going to be 1 7th away from 0. But what about absolute value of positive 1 7th? Once again, it's just 1 7th away. So really what we're doing is we're just taking that negative away. And we're looking to see how far away it is from 0. So what is the value of this expression right here? Well, how far away is 7 from 0? Let's not overthink it. It's 7. So our answer here is B.